Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today we're checking out a top five neighborhood near Duke in Durham, North Carolina. Uh, it's Crowsdale Farm. It's an awesome neighborhood. Got a ton of amenities, a ton of variety. Um, so we're going to go on a tour, check out the neighborhood. Then we're going to go over a couple pros and cons about what makes the neighborhood great and some things that uh, might, might not be as ideal. Uh, but thanks for checking in and uh, come join us for a tour. So a real cool thing about Crowsdale Farm is it retains a lot of its uh, history. Um, a, lot of, a lot of this land, uh, just in general, uh, was farms that sold off to developers. Well, the Crowsdale, they did that, but they kept uh, some aspects of the farm to include some of the cows. So the neighborhood has cows, which is freaking awesome. I mean, how many neighborhoods you get to drive by cows every day in the city? It's kind of cool. So you can see the cows and uh, some of the old barn and facilities they have. Uh, it's just really cool. Adds like a peaceful element to uh, the city that can sometimes be kind of chaotic. Uh, so it's just a nice touch and a uh, cool place. You have kids, it's just a, it's just a neat place to, uh, to be able to bring your kids. Uh, so there's really two different sections in the Crowsdale Farm. There's the Crystal Lake section and then there's the regular Crowsdale, Crowsdale Farm uh, single family. Crystal Lake is the newer section. Uh, a little bit about that, you're gonna have some smaller lots, they're about a quarter of an acre size uh, lots. The single family detached area in Crystal Lake, and you've got the Crystal Lake townhomes. So a little bit about the, the single family detached. Uh, you're gonna have um, square footage ranging from about 2,100 all the way up to about 3,400. Uh, the price range in that's going to vary from about five to six hundred thousand. Uh, currently, we're, we're filming during the lumber shortage, so that's going to be probably more up on the the six hundred side. Uh, beautiful custom homes, though, uh, built by Homes by Dickerson. Uh, just a great quality builder. They're actually expanding uh, into into another area. Uh, we talked to one of their sales reps. Uh, earlier and uh, so that that'll be added on on the Crystal Lake side the townhomes you're gonna range from about 2,400 square feet uh, to about 3,100 square feet or 3,000 square feet excuse me um, beautiful beautiful townhomes um, fully loaded just gorgeous uh, we actually did a tour of one earlier today uh, so that's the Crystal Lake side. It's actually kind of got a pretty cool history. Um, back in World War II, uh, the Crystal Lake area was actually used um, for training uh, before soldiers deployed overseas. Uh, so if you're a World War II history buffs, actually, it's pretty, pretty cool history. Um, the second section of Crowsdale Farm is kind of split up in three different, three different groups. You have an older section that um, was largely built in the the late 90s early early 2000s um, really nice larger lots than Crystal Lake you're looking at uh, roughly an acre uh, size lot um, the other part of that section uh, was built in 2014 to roughly 2016 uh, looking at about three quarters of an acre uh, for that and then the third section uh, within that is um, just some more custom homes, a little bit larger lots. You're looking at acre to acre and a quarter. Um, price range in this area, uh, anywhere from 700 to $1.3 million. But all in all, uh, great neighborhood, tons of variety, 
to, to choose from. If you're looking at the map of Crowsdale Farm, you'll see a thing called Crowsdale Village. Uh, that is the retirement community. It's also co-located co here. Um, but as far as neighborhoods go, you're looking at Crystal Lake and you're looking at the uh, uh, Crowsdale Farm single family detached. All right, so what are some pros and some cons to this neighborhood? Uh, pros, really what we just discussed, there's a ton of variety. Um, you can get a little bit smaller lots in the in the quarter of an acre with Crystal Lake. Uh, you can get all the way up to you know an acre and a quarter in some of the other areas. But all in all, you know, great lot size uh, compared to to some of the neighborhoods in the area where where lots can get really really small and homes can get really close together. Uh, another pro about this neighborhood: there's a ton of natural space. I mean, there's walking trails. There's an active farm, which is really cool. Um, there's ponds. I mean, it's just it's beautiful. You can you can walk, you can run, your kids can ride bikes. Uh, it's just it's an amazing neighborhood when it comes to natural space. Uh, another pro that you'll find out here is proximity to uh, the various amenities, grocery stores, restaurants. Um, we're close here to really close to Pomodoro's. Which is a, the local Italian restaurant's really good. The owners are actually Italian, so lots of good stuff there. Best um, pizza in North Durham. Yeah, we like Pomodoro's. Um, and then right over there too, you have Blue Olive, which is a more fine dining, Greek style, Mediterranean style restaurant. Um, Milo, which has tapas, kind of Italian style, but a little bit of everything there. I would say that's probably our favorite restaurant in North Durham. Yeah, it's pretty good. Best lasagna for sure. They have um, mashed potatoes with uh, bacon and Parmesan, and it's pretty pretty outstanding, actually. Um, my favorite, Chick-fil-A, is not too far from here. 15 Probably minutes, 10, 10, only 15, 15 minutes, minutes away. <laughs> so yeah, lots of good, close restaurants, close to 85 and 15 to 501, so close drive to lots of stuff that's nearby. And with 85 close by, uh, 85 and 70 uh, merge together and then veer off, so uh, you have quick access to Raleigh through through Highway 70 that, that connects off 85. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, quick shot to, to Hillsboro. Um, really, really pretty much anywhere in the triangle with 85. And then uh, last but not least, as far as amenities go, you're three miles from Duke University, Duke Hospital. Uh, the VA Medical Center is right there. Um, so as far as proximity goes, it just it doesn't get any better than Crowsdale. So what about some cons? Um, price. Price. Yeah, mm -hmm. honestly, like I, you know, most people, the the, the average the average buyer um, is priced out of this neighborhood. Um, it's just it's just the, the the reality of it. So even on, on the cheaper side, you're looking at probably fives, upper fives, um, all the way up. And, you know, the one point. I think there's a the home currently listed right now for 1.3 million. Um, so yeah, price price is a huge a huge con um, to this neighborhood. If you can afford it, great. Um, it's a beautiful neighborhood if you can afford it. Um, but it is on that the upper level. Um, and the second con that we have is uh, your so your HOA fees aren't terrible here. You're you're looking at about four. I think it was 468. Um, a year which comes out to be about 40 bucks a month um, but you don't get pool access or um, any any amenities with that really um, if you want the pool uh, tennis courts all that good stuff you have to join Crowsdale uh, Country Club it is a beautiful country club it's a beautiful golf course uh, but all that is a separate fee uh, so you know you can move into some neighborhoods. You pay an HOA fee. You get access to the pool, access to the tennis courts, clubhouse, all that good stuff. Uh, here you you don't get that. All that would be be an additional additional fee. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, again, we're Zach and Cindy Honeycutt. We're uh, local realtors in the Raleigh Durham area. If you have any questions about Crowsdale, uh, our contact info is below. Feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we'll be uploading a new video every week. We'd love for you to tune in. Uh, if you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe. We'd love for you to be part of the channel. But I uh, hope y'all have a great week. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well at the Honeycut Realtors. I said bye too early. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>